Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite event. So for the first challenge in week six challenges, we need to destroy sub, uh, supply drones at hotspot. As you can see, any location that is right in yellow, like this location, this is called a hotspot. And if you go to this hotspot, you will notice these drones. What we're gonna do is just simply destroying them like this. Of course, they drop some items, healing items, weapon items, etc. So, is there any more drones? Okay. Okay. There's actually two more drones here. And for our second challenge, guys, we need to search underworld chest at Grimgate and then leave without taking any damage. So, the underworld chest is here, actually. As you can see above this big mountain. Oh, sorry, big house. Or big uh, castle. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, I'm already getting hit or getting attacked without EV. Oh, thanks god, I didn't get hit. Okay, I need to leave the area now without getting damaged. So, I think somehow I did it. <laughs> now, for the next challenge, we need to deal 500 damage with a weapon that has been modded optics. By the way, this. This weapon is not modded optics because it's normal. This weapon though is modded since as you can see the optics is different. This one is also modded. So what I'm gonna do is avoid this weapon and get any weapon that is modded. Like the weapon that has a laser or something then damage an opponent with that weapon. That's how we're gonna do that challenge. You need to deal 500 damage in total using this weapon. And for our next challenge, guys, we need to hit players with Shockwave. In order to do that, we need to come to this exact spot and buy the Shockwave grenade from this guy. Of course, you can do it without buying it because Shockwave can be found as a blue blue to inside the chest, but I think this is what will, will be the best way. By the way, since the challenge said hit a player, they didn't ask to do it. It must be enemy player, so it must be a your friend. Try to on your friend. My, it, most likely it will work. But since I don't have a friend with me now, so I'm gonna try it on this bot. Oh my god! Oh my god! So, yeah, this shockwave doesn't have a full damage, sadly. <laughs> this guy was flying away. <laughs> so that's how simply we can run this. In order to do this challenge the fastest way possible, of course you can do this challenge with vending machine. You can go to any city and search for vending machine until you find the matchup. But I will give you a better method that is way faster. And way easier. This method simply you need to land at this exact spot where we can actually find Billy. And Billy is actually selling this patch up. So let me get first his chest. Exact location here. Near restored reels, okay? So let me get this chest first. Yeah, and as you can see, when I talk to Billy, I can buy this patch up, but no need no heal needing. So what I, I'm gonna do is going to this campfire, light it. Stay above it, so I roast myself like this. Then I could I go to Billy and ask him for a patch up, and I heal him back to 100%. That's how easily this challenge can be done. And for the final quest, guys, we need to mod weapons at mod benches. And in order to do that, we simply need to go to bunkers. By the way, bunkers are gonna open at the third storm circle, and you can see them on the map like this. Once you go to any of these bunker, you need to go to this modded bench and get any weapon that can be modded like this one and start modding this weapon. By the way, this is the optic that I was talking about in the previous challenge. We need to get any optic on this. This, as you can see, doesn't have optic, doesn't have optic. So I'm going to add this optic so we can actually. Oh, okay. let me try this one. Thermoscope. Yeah, it's even better. <laughs> 